Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum, unjara ma, unjara ma musibbe, unjara ma yibbe, unjara ma ribibbe an, e kon tori mou, e o darsu men keso, hala pular, darsu men hala pular keso. Hi guys, hello everyone, hello my friends, hello my, you know, beloved friends, and, you know, uh, welcome again to a new class okay uh, a new plot class okay guys i hope all of you guys are fine i hope you are safe and uh, safe and sound and, i mean regarding the current world situation we are living in we currently in and i pray that you, all of you guys and all the families are safe and fine okay let's get started so now we've covered all the chapters. Well, we are left with some texts, but some very interesting texts. So today, we are going to take text one, which is actually made of three texts. Okay, so so it's about ceremonies. Den Nabu, Deugal, Fatun, and naming ceremonies to name a baby, to give a newborn baby. Uh, name Deugal uh, wedding Fatunde funeral. Okay, so we're gonna start with Denabo, then we're gonna see Deugal, then we're gonna see Fatunde. So, hey, what's my plan? It's to cover this text and the vocabulary for this video. Then, for the upcoming videos, we're gonna talk about the grammar and so on. So, I will see whether or not. I should do all the three texts in one video or do them separately. I'll see. Okay? So let's get started, guys. Uh, denabo. Denabo. Let me read the whole text and we will go and see the new words and so on. Koyon, koyon dere ka debbo on jibini, denabo on wa ete. Gila o jibini o yal tata. Debbo on no tong hanyan de bobo on femba. Den yon terefo, bobo on kosamfa in nete. Musi dangal e tolo dangal fo, holi te te konyala ne honde, woni den na bo on. Joni non, kohande yonte. Hanki ki ki de, reupe kautangal fo, mo bondiri fi hebula na golden na bo Chobbal una ni e defa. Joni sa i on feundike. Futu be ben e musi be ben fou heuti. Alma me juri de ben ari. Kobali ma mewa hirsete fi im gol bobo. Fenny no on immo salmina hono. Ko heuti men do. Ko im gol bobo. Awa bobo on di inna ma salimatu. Ko yae ma ko inni tira. Si bobo on inna ma. Nye de sende. Nyame. Goro on e chobbangal sende. Aro e denna bo en. Adda gude. Gude. Ma kalisi. Ma sabunde. Nun o fu. Kofi yumma bobo on. E bem bobo on. Si foulan ni, foutou be gorko on yaha ka mousik be de bom, na bougol in de bobo on. Be adda teu, e kalisi, e goro, be ted dinira be in de de. Ok? Nice text. Very nice. Uh, Alright. So, we see uh, highlighted here, uh, underlined, new words. Ok? But maybe even in the text, there are some words that you are not familiar with. I'm going to try to translate the whole thing. Okay? So, this is a naming ceremony. So, it happens usually, takes place usually a week after the baby was born. Okay? So, uh, okay? So, let's see the new words. Gibingol. Uh, Gibini. Gibini comes from Gibingot. 
okay to mean to give birth debbo on jibeni okay the 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 the, the woman has given birth ko yon tere ka debbo on jibeni it's a week after the woman has given birth then nabo or what is it that we do the 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 naming ceremony that or that the wedding naming ceremony takes place it's a week after the woman has given birth that the wedding that the naming ceremony takes place gila ojibini gila means since or from the time ojibini from the time she gives birth or yaltata she doesn't go out she's not going out since she gave birth okay since the time she gives birth she's not leaving the house debbo on on hanyan debbo of hemba she will stay there until the baby is shaped femba infinitive femugol to shape so another name for denabo another synonym for denabo is femuga because why it's called uh, femugal i mean other synonym so we can call the whole ceremony also femugal meanings like the shaving the shaving because we, we basically we took one part of the ceremony to call the whole ceremony like that okay so uh, because it's on that day that the baby will be shaved so we can call the whole thing also the shaving ceremony or the, the shaving yeah okay so fembugal okay and then nabo are synonyms okay or sometimes also as it's mostly used like that so basically uh, when you say that i'm just for example the baby is born people will, will ask you okay what you going to do a full blown ceremony or just the naming the shaving and the naming okay so you can say uh, no it's not it's not that case it's not that case sorry because even if uh, i was going to say that fembugal is mostly when you just don't do the full blown ceremony you just do the shaving and with a few guests a few family members instead of calling your whole relatives but uh, it's not like that it's when you say innugal okay or in the bob only that because there's a difference okay <laughs> let me keep it short there's a difference sometimes you do the, a full blown ceremony dennabo when you say dennabo it usually mean uh, the whole ceremony where people basically we stay there from the morning to to 5 o'clock or to even sunset okay but if you use another name like in the bob or in the bob uh or innugal tum if i say mi innay tum bobo na den na bo de wo na den na bo mi wadata people ask me for example i'm the father and people ask me ko den na bo ka ko inde bobo and then i reply ko innugal tum i only give the name okay guys <laughs> there won't be any food here there won't be any you know maybe you know small amount of food okay i just name him at 10 o'clock you guys leave my house and then done okay because people take it so seriously the number and so, so sometimes it's very heavy on the father okay so he can hey, hey this time i'm not making a full blown ceremony i'm not you know okay so this time i just give the name and then we done okay so then nabo is usually a full blown ceremony but when you just say in the bob that can mean just the naming part okay in the bobo in the bobo and uh and then the bobo but now coming back to fembugal fembugal can also mean the whole ceremony fembugal meaning the whole ceremony also B- basically you took one part of the ceremony to name the whole ceremony like that like because on that part, on that day we shave the baby so the naming ceremony can be also called the shaving ceremony okay let's go debbo on no don hanyan debbo on femba 
the so the ba the the woman is there until until the day the baby is shaved. Then you enter a full bob on samfa in the day. During that whole week, the baby is called samfa. He doesn't have a name yet, so he has a temporary name. What does that mean? Samfa. Samfa is the name that a baby has in plural in our in the full baby culture. From the day he was born to uh, the day he's given a name. So he's called Samfa. Because in plural, we don't give the name just when the baby is born. It's a week usually. Okay? Or, or two weeks sometimes. A week. A week. Most most of the time. It's a week. Okay? So during that time he's called Samfa. Samfa. Okay? Musi dangal e tolo dangal fo holi tete. Musidal means your whole family, your big family. Okay? You remember Bengure? Bengure means your little family, father, mom, you know, sons and so on. Now Musidal means your big family. Now Musidangal e Tolodal. Tolodal means the community, like the village and so on. The community. Tolodangal fu holy tete. Konyalande. Honde woni denabo. Holy to go means to to inform. Holy to go to inform exactly to inform to inform about the ceremony that is taking place here. So musi dangal the family like the clan even et holo dangal and the community for and the whole community holy tete will be informed. Kunyala and the Honde Uni Denabo. When, on what day, on which day, uh, the naming ceremony is going to take place. Okay? So now, Juni no Kohande Yundi. So now, today, it's a week. It's a week today. Today, it will be a week today. Okay? How do I say this? How do I? It will complete a week. Yun to go, what does yun to go mean? Oh, yeah, my good old notepad. Okay, yun to go to complete a week. Okay, if I say yun tali kohande. Yonti gila gila or gila bobo gibina like like today how are they today marks a week today marks a week since the baby now i'm using the passive voice since the baby was born okay since the baby was born jibina kohande yonti so today kohande yonti yonti go means to complete a week okay you know jibini is that the active voice debbo on jibini okay so debbo on Gibini Bobo Gorko. The woman gave birth to a to a boy. Okay, that's the active. Now the passive is this Bobo Gibina Bobo Gibina. Now that's the passive. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, um, where are we? Okay, Juni non kohande yonti. So now, Juni means now, Juni non. How do I, Juni non? How do I say no? No, how do I translate no? <sighs> how do I translate Juni non? So now, uh, maybe I can say it like this. So now, kohande yonti. Today marks a week. Today is a week since that happened. Okay? 
Han kiki ki the yesterday evening Reu e kautangal fu mu undiri fi he bulana golden na boho. The the women reube. You remember reube? Is the what? Reube is the plural plural of debo. You see debo this reube, okay? Reu e kautangal. Kautel the neighborhood. Kautel means the neighborhood. Okay, kautangal. Fu mu undiri fi he bulana golden na boho. Yesterday evening. The women of the neighborhood, the all the women of the neighborhood, they gathered to get ready to prepare, to get ready for the naming ceremony or to prepare the naming ceremony. You get it? Chobbal una ni edefa. Chobbal is like chobbal is like a like a paste of rice and honey. Chobbal is like paste, or how do they translate it here? Chobbal, chobbal, chobbal. A tree made of rice and honey. Okay? It's made of rice and honey. So it's really nice. I like it. Chobbal una. Unugol. You remember unugol? To take a, a pestle, okay, and grind uh, some beans or some grains, you know? That's called unugol. Chobbal una. Uh, Chobbal, the chobbal or the treat uh, was was uh, well, you know they they grinded the 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 the, the tree ni edefa and so how do we we say the treats were prepared say like that. Or grind it, ni edefa, and meals were prepared or were cooked. So treats were made or were grinded because we grind it. Unugol means to grind. Ni edefa, meals were made. That's how actually you say it if you have to translate it. Okay? Ni e. Ni e is the plural of ni al. Nial. You remember Niri? Okay? Niri. Or oh, Nial. You, uh, what's the difference? What's the difference? How do I translate this? It's uh, difficult. Okay. Nie is the plural of Nir, but it can also mean the plural of Nial. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nial, nial, is it the quantity? Or like, I'm... Um, voila. If I say nial, if I say nial, it means the, the quantity. Like, it's a little quantity. You remember in Pula, we have noun classes in Pula. And a noun class can indicate more information, can give more information regarding the word. When, like, when I say paikung, uh, the word kung indicates that it's little. It's a little child. Paikung. If I say nial, it indicates a little amount of rice. So nie, nie is the plural of niri. Niri means actually anything that is cooked. It can be cooked rice or cooked corn okay or cooked you know uh how it's called millet cooked fonio and all all those things it's called niri okay niri maro niri kaba niri fonio niri maro cooked rice niri fonio cooked fonio niri kaba cooked corn so ni e plural and here it meaning meals okay ni e meals Meals were cooked. Ni e defa, meals were cooked. Okay? So again, ni e can be the plural of ni or the plural of ni al. When I say ni al, it gives uh, some more information regarding the, the rice or the, or the meal. 
the, and here, uh, if I'm, 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 it's regarding the quantity. Nyiri uh, means anything actually cooked, any grain that is cooked. Okay, nyiri maru, nyiri kaba, nyiri fonyo. Okay, juni sa i onfeundike. Now the time has come. You know, it's a sequence. The text. Okay, it's a sequence. Johnny Nong, whenever we go to the line, next line, it's now, it's a narration. Okay? Johnny Sai on Feundike. Now the time has come. Feundagol, what does Feundagol mean? To be present, to, to have, to, the time has come. Feundagol. Okay? When I say Feundagi, Feundagi, Kami Jomba, it's not the time for me to get married. Feundaki. If I say Feu Ndaki Taho Ka Ni Jamba, the time haven't come yet for me to get married. Feu Ndaki Kami Jamba. Okay? Mm. Uh, okay, futu bebeng emusi bebeng fu heuti. The relatives and the the the, the futu be okay relatives of like uh, of the the girl on this uh, on, on this context relatives of the girl okay of the because. Like the, the mother, she has her own relative there, right? Futu bebeng, the relatives of the woman, and musi bebeng, fu heuti, and the relatives of the guy, and all the relatives have arrived. Al mami juli de negari, and the imam of the mosque, he also have the right. Okay? Kubali ma me wa hirsete fi imnu gulbobom. So, it's a it's a, a sheep or a goat that will be slaughtered to name the baby. You know, in Islamic tradition, you slaughter a sheep to name um, a boy, uh, 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 a child. Sometimes, for uh, if it's a boy, two sheep, and if it's uh, a girl, one sheep. Okay, so it depends, but. If it depends on what you have, it's it's uh, whatever you have. You are, it's not something mandatory. Whatever you do, so also, and that's what we do. So we, we slaughter a, a sheep or a goat, or if you don't have, you know, do whatever you have, whatever you can do. But sometimes you know the the pressure of the the first of your wife or of, you know oh well for this girl she slaughtered I don't know a big sheep and now. For me, you saying that we won't do a dendabo? We just gonna do an indebobo? You remember I told you about dendabo and indebobo? Indebobo means just the naming only. Dendabo is the full blown ceremony. So sometimes, you guys out there, if you want to name, uh, if you, if, if you, your, your, your wife gives birth, if you only do an indebobo, she can be very mad at you. Because, of the peer pressure. Oh, look at your husband. He's so, you know, you know, uh, look, uh, and she will look, she will see her friends, her husband did this for her, and you, you know, uh, you didn't. Maybe you can't afford it, but most of the times it's very complicated. It's very, her family you can put some pressure on her. Look at this guy, he does not respect you, does not, you know, honor you, and so on. <laughs> It's gonna be very, very crazy, you know. And you know, I, <laughs> I, I hear a lot of very crazy stories where people really, really they have to borrow money and go in debt for to to so that they can like organize a ceremony because of the pressure uh, from her from the her his wife's side, okay. 
the family of maybe sometimes even like the wife can you know it's not a problem for her if you, because she knows the uh, financial situation of her husband but her family or her relatives oh sometimes it can be complicated so that's what's happening in our you know in our communities yeah okay anyway uh, where were we Fudu bebeng emusi bebeng fu heuti alma miyuli tendeng ari kobali Kobali, it's a, it's a she. Ma bewa, ma means all. Kobali, ma bewa. Here sete fi innogol bobo. Okay, it's a, it's a sheep. Or, a good. Here sete that will be, or that is going to be slaughtered. Fi to innogol bobo to name the baby. Fi means in order to, or to, or so as to, in Nugal Baba to name the baby. Fi nino on immo, the announcer, he gets up. Salmina, he greets. Huno, huno a new word, meaning to, uh, like to say why you, you, why you here, the reason of your presence. The reason why we're here is to name a baby. Our Bobo in Nama Salimatu. So the baby has been named Salimatu. She was named, he, she, because Salimatu is a woman's name, it's a girl's name. She was named after her auntie. Okay? Innitira. Koyae mako innitira. Innitirgol means to name someone after someone else. Innitirgol. Innitirgol. Okay? For example, I say, Si mi hebi bobo gorko Koba Beng Ang Mi Inni Tirta. If I if I get a boy, I I'll name him after my dad. Okay, see me happy. Boba Gorko, Kobabeng Ammi Innitita. You remember in one of the videos we talked about Hebugol, Marugol, e Jogagol. They are both, they are all ways to say have, if I have a baby, or if, okay, have, if I have a baby. If I have, uh, Boba Gorko means boy, huh? baby boy. If I have a baby boy, okay, Boba Gorko, Boba only means baby, okay. Remember, so go back to that lesson to see the difference here. So you have to know which half to use depending on the situation. If you say, like, I have two dollars and I have a baby, meaning I, I my wife gave birth to a baby, like we have a new baby, we got a new baby. You understand? You sh should use, you shouldn't use the same version or the same type of have in Pula. So here you sometimes you use marugol, jogagol, hebugol. Hebugol means it's used in the case of pregnancy. Okay? Hebugol, sorry, it's like this actually. Hebugol. You remember how we write the, the we have to follow the standard. Here, because I don't have the alphabet to, yeah, to, to write that funny B, you know, that funny B or something, you know, like this. So, there are two ways to write. Either you write it like that, if you have the, the, the keyboard for that, or you just write B and H, meaning, hey, boo, boo, hey, boo, girl. See me, hey, B. Okay, so I should write like this, actually. Marugol. Jogagol. Okay, a little quiz. If you know what... If you if you know the difference between those three, write them in the comments. Okay, yoga god. We already covered this. 
okay so so in the goal again to name up si bobo ang in nama if the uh, 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 when sorry si here means when si sometimes can mean if as we covered in the previous video or when here it means when si bobo ang in nama when the baby is named or after the baby is named ni ed ensende nyame the meals are mm, uh, distributed and then people eat ni ed ensende ni ed ensende nyame the meals are distributed then people eat goro goro caught the corner nuts e chop bangal and the 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 tree you remember chopba send it, are also distributed aro be denna bo ben adda gude gude ma kalisi ma sabunde aro be the guest or the the people who come aro be denna bo ben aro be denna bo ben the people who come to the wedding okay like the wedding guest adda gude they they bring uh, uh good 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 is the plural of wudere okay good where is it good 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 is the plural of wudere wudere means what the women you know how our women wear here yeah? the traditional what they usually wear is uh especially when they are at home or working and so on or uh, most of the time actually that's the the, the, the classic way of wearing uh, the, the the that is dress code for women full day women is uh, to wear a, a loin cloth okay it's a, co a cloth sheet of cloth that you tie on, on your waist okay okay it, it, it's in asia also in asia in asia people also do it. in asia even men actually wear it in Asia, okay, uh, but us men don't wear it. It's it's only for women, okay. Aro be denna bo beng adda gude. The people, the the wedding, the the wedding, what wedding? The the name, the 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 the, the guest denna bo is the naming ceremony. I don't want to say the naming ceremony guest. Adda gude they bring. Adda gude means to bring. Gude, uh, they bring those sheets ma kalisi or money ma sabunde or soap okay soap don't go for don't go for all that all that thing all the stuff i i just enumerated good air kalisi sabunde don't go for all those things all that all coffee you ma bobo it's for the mother of the child it's uh, sorry lundofo kofi yuma bobo e ben bobo all that thing it's for the mother of the child and the father of the child yuma you already know yuma and nene are synonyms yuma yuma nene are synonyms okay it means mom si fulani Utu e gorko o ya ka musi e debbo o na bugol in de bobo when all is finished when all is done futu e gorko o the relatives of the of the man like of the husband ya ka musi be debbo o they go to the relatives of the wife na bugol in de bobo to bring to to announce them to tell them the name so here we say nabugol inde meaning basically like they are bringing the name but it's just meaning just to announce them the name they add the teu e kalis e goro and they will bring with them meat money and uh cola nuts be tek dinira be inde den uh to honor them to honor them and respect them uh uh tedingol is a 
difficult to translate. Tidingor means to respect someone and basically by informing him about something. Okay? So basically when I say when I call someone, Hello, Onjaram, you don't need our pengu and gibini bobo gorko kutidungal mo. Okay? How do I how do I translate? Hi, how are you? I'm my wife has given birth to a boy. Uh it's your tid dungal. Kutid dungal mo like you informing him, telling him that like you to show the respect and the honor you have for that. Usually it's somebody you he's older than you, it's somebody you respect, or somebody who is, I mean, uh, somebody like you, you not accountable to, like somebody you have to show respect, okay? Be, be, for, for example, the uncle of your wife. So you call him when you are here birth to take dingle, take dingle, to take ding, to take dingle him, okay? So, so they will bring money, and need and colonels, they take dinner at the internet to to uh, to show them the respect and so on. When, so they, oh, it's very difficult to translate. They take dinner at the internet to means tiddingo literally means and actually literally it means to make heavy. But here it's used figuratively to mean like we honor you. Okay, okay. This is your baby, and so on. We honor you with we, we bring all these gifts to to honor you for that. Tedingol. So tedingol means literal. Okay, it just simply means to make it simple. Although it's more complex than that, to make it simple, it just means to respect and honor. To respect and honor someone. Okay. For example, when I just say a simple sentence. A child must respect and honor his parents. Paiku 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 Nodua 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 means should, it's a moral obligation or something. Paiku Nodua Nodua Tedingol. Maube mu um a child should okay or ought to no ought to obey uh respect you know honor his parents Mau emu or mau emako. Okay, here it's better to say mau emu. It's like mau emako. Okay, but better say mau emu. A child ought to respect his parents. Okay, mau emu. So basically, literally, I say a child ought to make his parents happy. But here it means to respect his parents. To like to elevate them. Basically, that's what you mean. Tedingo. Okay? So, Tedingo is more complex than that. Tedingo can just like. So, Tedingo can also be like. I guess that like I said, when you inform someone about a new event that happens in your life, you say. So, this expression is very, very common. Ma. Or go dungal, te dungal, go te dungal mo. Okay, go o te dungal. Okay, go te dungal ma or go te dungal mo. Okay, go te dungal ma. Okay. Babeng ko tidungal mo peyingu peyinguan jibini bobo 
Leo. Okay, this means dad. How do I say it in English? Uh, dad. Uh, in English, we say dad. I'm glad to tell you that my wife has given birth to a girl. You know, but here it would say like dad. Um, I'm announcing you the news like because I respect you or because oh guys I don't know honestly how to translate this I will I will find out how to translate this it's it's difficult to put it in English or even in French or even in any other language other than Pula. Even in one of, even in other African languages, how do we, how do we say this? Even in Wolof, for example, I, uh, I speak Wolof, and in Wolof, I don't, I don't know of a, of a similar expression. A pular in general is a language of Tegdungal. Hala pular ko hala. Heuka Tedungal. Kala ko hala ta e pular. Ma wo wadatong Tedungal. In pular in general, when you speak pular in general, it's full of expressions of respect and honor. Pular in general. So it's very. Pular in general is filled. The pular language is filled with uh, expressions of honor and so on. So basically, he means that I quoted Dungalmo. It's uh, it's your respect. It's it's for your respect. It's for your honor. My wife has given. Please help me out in the comments. I don't know if you can. You know, maybe I will upload this tomorrow or in two days. I don't know. So help me out, guys. Okay, guys. So that was. Uh, let it, let us stop here. And then in the next video we take the other, uh, the other words, the other text. Okay, guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, put it in the comments as usual. Okay, guys. I'm not gonna upload this today, so the time of the filming will differ from the time of the uploading. Okay, the day of the film and the day of the uploading. Okay. Oh, musibya. Haray unjara mo. Haray kowaki lagon. Uh, you have to, you know, all the best. Kowakilagon, all the best. Kowakilagon, all the best means, you know, we have to uh, be bon courage, as we say in French. It's closer, bon courage. So, uh, okay, harai en untuma, harai onjarama, harai e o, en untuma nani. Oh, bye.